One company, three managers, seven sales. We must change the way we are working. We must be more agile. Scrum is the new way. This is not how we are working now. What we're doing now is just fine. Maybe we can combine the two ways of working. There can only be one. What a fucking idiot. The company's in wrath. And Chris makes it worse. So, this is the structure of the plan that we have so far. This is what we need to do. This is what we're doing. Test phase, and that's what we're done with. We cannot possibly work in this agile way. This amateur is much too inexperienced and young to be doing this. E excuse me? This is unacceptable. You have to respect people's work! Hi Anne, how can I help? We have different opinions about the best way of working in IT, and we can't agree. Yeah. Some people are getting very upset. Ouch. Could you schedule a Skype meeting? Sure, yes of course I can Anne. Happy to do that. You suggest the time, we check in the calendar, we'll make that right. This is your project plan. Mm -hmm. I think we should use Scrum. We have worked like this for 20 years and we're not going to change it because of you. This can be a, a problem. I can see why it can be a problem if you have the idea that there's one right way of doing it, just one right answer. What we need to do instead is more around it depends. We need to look at the dependencies. That so that the right method depends on the context and what it depends on. We need to pick agile when we need speed, but we need an architecture to support it. We need waterfall when we need to be absolutely slow, careful, exactly clear with every stakeholder which it wanted, we're going to be. We need different things, that, different approaches that when things are moving fast, when we've got things that are moving fast across what much it goes slow. All sorts of different methods that we need to use according to the context. The problem we get often is people come in with saying, there is the method and we will force the context to fit. We need to do it the other way around, where the context specifies the approach that we do. We don't need to do anything new. We need to do what we have always done. Sometimes we don't, yeah, I agree, but sometimes we don't have a choice on that. We can't assume that it's going to stay the same. Otherwise, we're going to be out of business. So this is where we come back to this, the dangers of one size fits all or one answer fits all. I want us to have one way of working together, not several ways. There's a, a trick here. The way is to have one way of working that has several ways inside it. The one way of working is the way that you choose which method you will use according to the context. You have one method for working out which type of context it is. A classic example which has problems, but it's a good illustration is what's known as bimodal IT. 
The stuff that's at the back end that changes very slowly and that affects a lot of people, we can't allow it to fail. So we need waterfall type approaches for that. We don't change anything in a hurry. But when we're doing stuff that's experimental, that trying out new ideas, the kind of A-B testing that your market people will like, those you want to be doing... With virtual reality, we need another way of working. Yeah. Trying to do waterfall, pinning down the exact requirements for virtual reality will take you forever and probably won't work anyway. So for that, you need to be agile. You need to be planning to, not so much to fail, but f fail fast in order to learn fast. So the, heart, the idea there is safe fail, which is very different from fail safe. So that the method, the, the single method that you have, tells you the conditions under which you choose each method that you're going to apply. This is complex. It sounds complex at first, but actually no. We've got one method for one approach, one method for the other. Our method is to say the conditions under which it works. We have clear rules about which type of method is used in each case. And people prefer one type rather than another. They will tend to go to that kind of work. Some people don't accept that we have different ways of working. They think that their way is the only one. Yeah. The one, one way I would use it is a kind of story to illustrate this, that the way that you work as a finance person is different from the way that you work as a salesperson, is different from the way that you work as a marketing person, is different the work from the way that you work as a, a product designer. That each of these are different ways of working, and all of them are right in their own context. The thing that's crucial is understanding the context, because if you try to do sales as if it's product design, or if you try to do uh, marketing as if it's uh, accounting, it's not going to work. We have to understand the context, and the aim always is to learn what is the right way now for this particular task? It's not necessarily the same each time. What have you learned from this? Well, I'm hoping what you've learned is that context comes before assumptions, that there's no one single method, that instead we need to have a method for selecting method according to the context. We need to find out what the need is first and match the method to that need, not the other way around. Hope that works. Yes, this was very good. Thank you very much. Rage is often based on insecurity of your arguments. The method you should use depends on your situation. I have to confess, sometimes it's good to work in different ways. New ways of working can sometimes be a good thing. I told you so.